Tickets went on sale yesterday for the National Theatre's multi-award winning production of War Wars at Birmingham Hippodrome. The star of the show trotted into the second city to launch the production which arrives in the autumn. Um, he's activating this bungee that's acting against a, um, a cord. So my analysis is that the bungee is like a muscle and the cord is like, is like a tendon. So you do half the work and then the puppet resets the other way. The life-size puppet made by South Africa's Handspring Puppet Company is operated by three puppeteers. Two work the front and back legs while the third operates the head. You know, it's, it moves like a horse, uh, it behaves like a horse, it's the same size as a horse, it, it, it's, it is a horse, it just doesn't look like, you know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not furry, it's, it's made from cane, it's made from metal, it's, it's a theatrical kind of interpretation of a horse. Puppeteers spend two weeks extensive training ahead of full rehearsals and are encouraged to visit stables to study horse behaviour. It's a real challenge to not become a sort of polite stage horse. You want to keep Joey and Topham and the horses in the show real and breathing and not always doing the most convenient, you know, if they can be on stage, look bored and look upstage, then that's good because that's a real animal. It's not, it's not always giving all of its reactions downstage centre and, you know, you want it to be a real animal on stage and I think, I think keeping it that alive and listening to your, other two, your two other puppeteers and your team so sort of no one takes the lead. War Horse has played to a worldwide audience of 2.5 million people. It's a powerful story of a young boy called Albert and his beloved horse Joey, who is requisitioned to fight for the English in World War One. To have, a, I think, to have a character at the centre of a story about the First World War that isn't on the English side, you know, isn't on the German side. I think it's it's quite amazing how much people relate to to. Yeah, a character that doesn't speak, that doesn't doesn't have a chance to take sides, is told what to do and does it. You know, we've in our horse research we kind of say that horses want when they know who their kind of owner is, they want to please them, they want to do what's right, they're looking for the signals of what to do. And I think to have something so passive swept up in that scenario, yeah, it means that audiences automatically kind of emote and want to follow Joey and get upset when, when the future doesn't look too bright. The National Theatre's major production comes to Birmingham Hippodrome as part of a 10-month, nine-venue tour of the UK and Ireland. It runs from October 17th to November 9th.